today we are going to compare and order fractions. Half of your questions are going to look like this. You'll have two fractions and you'll need to decide if it's less than, greater than, or equal. So with three-fourths and five-eighths we still can use pictures but it's going to get trickier and it's hard to make sure all your pictures are drawn exactly right. I know I make it look easy sometimes, but it isn't. So we could draw out three-fourths and draw out five-eighths. And if our pictures are drawn perfectly, and mine isn't quite perfect by any means, we can tell that three-fourths is going to be greater than five-eighths. So I put in my greater than sign. Drawing pictures, like as I said, isn't the easiest all the time. So we need to have another strategy that we can use and that I'll want you to use today. You might check with pictures or use that as a backup strategy. But today we're going to be using something called least common multiple. Not to be confused with the greatest common factor that we've used the past couple days. So this time we're looking for the least common multiple. If you forgot what a multiple is, go back to the first video of this chapter and it will give you a good reminder. So if we have these fractions of 3 fourths and 5 eighths, we can find the least common multiple. So I take my two denominators, my 4 and my 8, and I'm going to find the multiples. And then we're going to find which one they have in common that is the least. So the multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, and we could keep going on forever, but since we're looking for the least or the smallest, we probably only need to do a, a couple. My multiples of 8 are 8, 16, 24, and I already know, just after that first one, that the least common multiple is 8. So, what we're going to do to make it easier to tell which is greater of these two fractions is we're going to turn both of our fractions into eighths so that they, I'm using equivalent fractions. So we already have 5 eighths that are eighths. So we don't need to do anything to that fraction. But we want to change our 3 fourths into eighths. And that way it'll be super easy to tell which one is greater than or less than because they'll have the denominator in common. So how can I change 3 fourths into eighths? Well, we know with our equivalent fractions that we can multiply 4 by 2 to make it 8. And with equivalent fractions, whatever we do to one part of our fraction, we need to do it to the other, or else it won't be equivalent. So if we multiplied our denominator by 2, we need to also multiply our numerator by 2. So 3 times 2 is 6. So 3 fourths is equivalent to 6 eighths. So now that we have 6 eighths, and 5 eighths, obviously, if we have 6 eighths, that's more than 5 eighths. So finding the least common multiple is a really easy way to be able to tell if it's greater than or less than. Whereas with pictures, if it's not drawn right, it's easy to make mistakes. Here's one more example for you to watch. 2 thirds and 1 fourth. So we're going to use our strategy of finding the least common multiple. So I'm going to use my denominators again, 3 and 4. The multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. And our multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12. And there we go. I found one in common, finally. So they both have a 12 as a multiple. 
which means we need to change both of our fractions into twelfths. So, 4 times what equals 12? And then we need to change our two-thirds into twelfths. So 4 times 3 equals 12, which means we need to do the same thing to the top. So 1 times 3 is 3. So we can change 1 fourth into 3 twelfths. Now we need to change two-thirds. So 3 times what equals 12? It's 4. So we need to do the same to the top, to our numerator. 2 times 4 is 8. So now that we've changed these, we have 8 twelfths on the left and 3 twelfths on the right. So that should be fairly easy to tell, obviously, if there are 12 pieces of something and you have 8 of them. That's better than the person who only gets 3 out of 12. So 8 twelfths is greater than 3 twelfths. Okay, you're also going to have some where you'll have 3 fractions. And instead of finding greater than, less than, or equal, you're going to order them from least to greatest. And it gets a little trickier when you throw in a third number. We'll start with an easier one to begin with. So if I have 4 sixths, 4 fifths, and 4 eighths, and we want to put these from least to greatest, um, this one's kind of nice because they all have the same numerator. So far we've worked with ones where we made the denominators all the same, but the same strategy works for the numerators. If I have four pieces of each, for each of these, and then ones in f six pieces, ones in five, and ones in eight, the more pieces we have, the smaller those pieces are going to be. So if I want to find the least, uh, then I'd want to find the one that has the most pieces, because those are going to be small. So they all have four in the top. So four eighths is going to be the least, because if we only have four out of eight pieces, that's not very much, because those pieces are smaller than fifths or sixths. Next would be four sixths. Those pieces are a little bit larger than eighths. And then obviously there's only one left, so four fifths. With four fifths, we have almost all the pieces. We're only missing one. So that one's going to be the greatest. Okay, now that you've seen a few, try to do this one along with me. We have two thirds and eight ninths. So our strategy we learned today is finding the least common multiple. So we're going to use our denominators and we're going to find our multiples. So write down 3 and 9. So our multiples of 3, I'll give you a chance to get started before I give it all away. What are our multiples of 3? First is 3, 6, 9, and then our multiples of 9 are 9, and we already have our least common multiple. So that was pretty easy on this one. So we want to change each of our fractions into ninths. And luckily, one of them already is. So that already got rid of half of the work we had to do. We like it when that happens. But we need to change two-thirds into ninths. So what are we going to have to multiply those thirds by to make it into ninths? We need to multiply it by three. We have to do the same thing to the top to keep them equivalent. So two times three is six. So we've got six ninths or eight ninths. Which of those is greater? The eight ninths. Okay, and I want you to do this one along with me too. This is one of those that has three 
we're putting them from least to greatest. So we've got one half, three eighths, one fourth. Sometimes you can look at these and figure out easily just by looking that one's going to be the least or one of them's going to be the greatest. And then you can just look at the other two. But we're going to look at all three. So we're going to find our least common multiple of 2, 4, and 8. Those are our denominators. So the multiples of 2, I'll pause for a second so you can write these down with me. So, so we skip count by 2's, these are easy, 2, 4, 6, 8. The multiples of 4 are 4, then 8, 12, 16, and then our multiples of 8 are 8, and I can tell right now we have an 8 in all of them, so that's our least common multiple. You only have to go as far with your multiples until you have one that's the same in all of them that's in common. So we need to change all of these to eighths. So, one of them already is. We always like that. But the other ones aren't. So, I'm going to start on the right with my one-fourth. So, what am I going to need to multiply one-fourth by to turn it into eighths? By two. Four times two makes it eighths. We need to do the same to the top, to our numerator. So, we need to multiply it by the same thing. 2. So 1 times 2 is 2. And that one's 2 eighths. So now we've got 3 eighths, and we know that 1 fourth is equivalent to 2 eighths. We just need to change 1 half. So to change 1 half to eighths, we need to multiply 2 by 4. And that makes it into eighths. We need to do the same thing to our numerator. So if we multiplied our denominator by 4, we need to multiply our numerator by 4. 1 times 4 is 4. So we've got 4 eighths. So 2 eighths is going to be our least. But the fraction they wrote there was 1 fourth. So we're actually going to write our 1 fourth there. And then we've got 3 eighths. And that fraction was 3 eighths, so we'll write down 3 eighths as our middle number. And then the greatest one is 4 eighths. And that fraction was 1 half, so 1 half was our greatest. So that is our fractions in order from least to greatest. 1 fourth, 3 eighths, and 1 half. And it's really easy when you find those least common multiples to be able to tell which is least and which is greatest. So now it is time for you to do four problems on your own. Number one, I want you to tell me if three six or one third is greater. You can use pictures to check your work, but I do want you to find the least common multiples and to use that strategy. Number two, we've got two fourths and three fifths. So same thing, find out if they're greater than, less than, or equal. For number three, we want you to order these three fractions from least to greatest. Notice that they all have the same number in the numerator which can help. And last of all, number four, also order these from least to greatest. Bring these in tomorrow and have a great day.